Hi and welcome to the video training of JavaScript. This is the third part of the JavaScript clear tips. Uh, I have already made uh, first and second part and it's available on YouTube. So let's look at the killer tip one, scroll to top. You can use window.scroll200 method to automatic scroll to top. Set both X and Y as zero. So you can say const go to top equals function and equals window.scroll200. And at the end you can say go to top. So here we can go into the editor and we can start the script tag and in the script tag and here we can have that uh, constant go to top equals window dot scroll to zero comma zero okay and at the beginning we have some html body and body close and html close and here we can have some dummy text so we have something to go to the top okay i think that should be it let's save this file in uh, personal projects HTML and here I'm going to call it go to top and let's call it index.html and now let's uh, go to the folder where I saved this file personal projects HTML go to top and double click to open it in the browser so if I refresh it it started it starts at the top so what we need to do is we need to have a function called go to top at the bottom. So what I can do is I can create a button input type equals button and I can say on click of this button call go to top function and just close it and the value is go to top okay and here we have this function go to top and within this function we can call this to top constant or we can just call window dot call top this is straightforward we don't need this here save this file and run it again in the browser so go to the end of the browser and here you have this function just click it and you are at the top so this is a very useful handy trick so killer tip to reverse a string let's say you have a string and you want to reverse it in javascript so uh, let's do this here script close the script tag and here we have const reverse equals string str dot split first is to split it and then is to reverse it and then again join it using single quotes and here we call the reverse function and hello world let's go to the browser let's open the console tag and refresh it see str.splitreverse is not a function ok str.split str.split ok so if I Hit it again it says it reverses the string and print it print it in the reverse order so what i was missing here was the parenthesis of the reverse function that's why it wasn't working let's move on to killer tip 3 check if array is empty so we have a one liner function is not empty and we can call it here just comment this 
and here we have const is not empty equals a and array is array and array dot length is greater than zero so if i call this function is not empty and pass in an array one two three let's see the result in the browser it says okay i need to console dot log so we have true if i pass in a string instead of in array it should say false so this is killer tip number three check if array is empty let's move on to killer tip four get selected text get the text the user has selected using min build get selection property so this is also a one liner function and it is const uh, okay, get selected text equals and window dot get selection dot to string and here you can call this function get selected text right here okay so let's say if we have some text here on the top and I have a function, uh, sorry, button and on click equals get selected text and value select text. Okay, let's save it and let's run it in the browser. So I have button, I click select text and if I paste it, got the selected text. First, we need to select it, select, select text we have in the browser. Oh. This is killer tip number four. Let's move on to five. Shuffle and array. Shuffling and array is super easy with sort and random functions. This is a one liner function which I'm going to explain it to you. So, const shuffle array equals receives an array and it's a array dot sort point five minus math dot random function so if I console dot log shuffle array and I pass in an array one two three four save it and run it in the browser I get different numbers each time you can see it's shuffling the array this is killer tip number five now let's look at killer tip number six detect dark mode check if a user's device is in dark mode with the following code const is dark mode window dot match media and window dot match media prefers color scheme dark matches so this is one line of code and we can use it here so const is dark mode window dot match media and window dot match media prefers color scheme colon dark dot matches so if the user have selected a dark scheme 
it will just console dot log true or false save it go to the console it says false because i haven't selected a dark scheme so this was killer tip number six thanks for watching this video please do subscribe to my channel if you like this video you can reach me if you need any assistance i'll be more than happy to reply back thank you very much